welcome to Hatter's. Was there not anyone up front? I'm sorry about that. Um, the ladies must have all gone for supper, but um, that's all right. I, I'd be happy to help you. I'm sorry, the, the back room isn't quite as picturesque as the showroom, but it'll do the trick. Uh, you can have a seat just there, and I'll help you find exactly what you need. Um, sorry, I don't normally help customers, I just make the hats back here, but don't worry, I'll get you all fixed up. Um, can I get you, uh, anything to drink? Some tea? Uh, pastries? We have pastries. Sure, of course. Scones actually um, were fresh baked today. My sister, she works at the bakery down the street. She was kind enough to bring a batch over for the customers today. So uh, the tea is still quite hot. Um, so I'll just leave it there for whenever you're ready for it. Right, uh, I'm Sophie. Sophie Hatter. It's very nice to meet you as well. Are you just visiting market shipping for the Wonderful. Well, uh, may I ask what occasion your hat will be for? All right. And uh, what sort of a price range are you looking for? Mm hmm. Oh, quite generous. Mm hmm. I'll be able to show you many beautiful hats within that range. Would you mind if I take some quick uh, measurements to determine your hat size? Thank you. to make sure the wind doesn't steal away your hat. Mm hmm Yes, quite usual. I should have um, plenty of hats in your size. First, I will show you the hats that we have already made, and if none of those are quite to your liking, I would be happy to fill out a custom order form for you. Mm hmm We can uh, make a hat to your exact specifications. Depending on the complexity of your request, the hat should be available for pickup within just a few days, or we do also offer doorstep delivery by bicycle. Mm -hmm. So, to help me determine which hats to show you, would you mind if I ask you a few questions? Okay, thank you. Um, just want to make sure I'm showing you the right styles and colors and everything. So, let's see. First, are you hoping to find a more casual, everyday wear sort of a hat? Or something more formal for a specific, fancier occasion? Mm hmm. Alright. And 
is there a particular outfit that you would like that to be matched to? In that case, what are some of the most common colors in your wardrobe? Mm -hmm. And do you tend to go for more detailed, complex hats or more simplistic, basic styles? Mm -hmm. order to complement your skin tone and your shade of hair, I think that some really nice, bright, crisp, vibrant, um, statement colors would work quite well. Maybe a yellow, a nice royal blue, bright rose red, or even a deeper wine red complement your features very nicely. Mm -hmm. um, I'll show you a wide variety of different options and we can see what you think. Sure. The first hat I would like to show you is this extraordinarily soft, hand-dyed, buttercup yellow wool hat. <laughs> and as you can see, it has a very simple sort of floppy shape to it, with a wide brim, about 10 centimeters, and it is adorned at the side with a cluster of beautiful bright red flowers, some smaller white details on either side, a few smaller leaves. All of the flowers are hand-painted hand sewn into place very securely so you can be sure that the wind won't steal them away. All of our hats last a very long time and some customers will actually uh, bring them back in, bring their hat back in as the seasons change and ask for the flowers to be repainted a different color that may suit uh, the changing season or even have the wool dyed a different shade. Mm -hmm. Much more affordable than buying an entirely new hat. And quite easy to do. So this hat is uh, more simple. It would be on the more affordable end of your price range. But as all of our hats here are, it is extraordinarily well made. So what are your thoughts on this one? Sure. In the same silhouette, but a starkly different color, we have this stunning royal blue. Another soft, hand-dyed wool. This one is adorned with a baby pink flower cluster. A few leaf decorations. And the entire brim is surrounded in baby's breath. This one is a bit more expensive just because the floral work is more intricate. It's tricky to uh, create such intricate consuming to hand sew each of these. Mm -hmm.
Mm -hmm. With your complexion and hair color And the colors that you mentioned most common in your wardrobe I think this would add a nice pop of color with many of your outfits mm -hmm. Are you a fan of um, these sorts of bright, vibrant statements? And what do you think of the wool material? Alright, um, in that case I can show you one more hat that I have in mind for you It actually has some feather details that I think you might like And then I can show you a few other hats made of other materials besides wool Sure Next, I will show you this gorgeous uh, wine red the wool hat this one is much more dramatic and has a different silhouette a much shorter brim but still that same floppy style and if surrounded down over the brim here As you can see, this is a beautiful hat for autumn or winter And this uh, feather plume is Wool is definitely the uh, preferred fabric in the winter because it does well with um, keeping you warm and also if it um, begins to rain or snow the wool won't uh, soak up the moisture We have this elegant black fascinator It is sewed onto this very comfortable satin lined headband In the center of the fascinator itself We have a metallic silver rosette Surrounded by these wispy black feathers And coming off of the front This very fine black netting as a veil Has this lovely dotted design. Mm, very elegant nighttime look. Something a bit more daytime. Sure. 
sure. Um. We have this gorgeous hand woven straw hat that is tied in this beautiful coral shade. And the hat has a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pointed shape. This one is a bit more of a uh, slouchy, uh, casual style, but it's more expensive just because of the uh, labor-intensive nature of this woven style. It takes a lot of time, but it's all worth it. This one has a very intricate, detailed outcome. It's very beautiful. This uh, type of hat would look beautiful in the springtime or the summer, maybe with a lacy white sundress. I'm a big fan of this color. It's lovely. material you see back here. It uh, catches the light with this uh, stunning blue. It's a smaller rosette at the side. And then, all surrounded by Try to pillbox that. All right. Well, I have over here a wonderful scarlet red felt pillbox hat that I think would look just stunning on you. It would frame your face perfectly. Mm -hmm. This one features a large statement bow. You said you have a 
lot of black in your wardrobe. And red and black are always a beautiful classic combination. And this hat, especially since it is so small, has sewn in a very comfortable thin black strap to be tucked under the chin from ear to ear. And it's very easy to tuck behind the ears and cover with hair so it won't be seen. None of those were quite right, I understand. Would you be interested in a custom order in that case? Sure, those are quite a lot of fun. Uh, first of all, we will just need to discuss some of your ideas and preferences. And I will be uh, taking notes and working on some sketches. Uh, but not to worry as you see me writing, because none of this will be set in stone. order together to make sure it's precisely what you want. And once we have that official finalized order, I will be able to give you an exact price and time range of how long it will take that to be completed. So the first thing we will need to discuss is the general shape and silhouette of your hat. Our most popular at the moment is the simple bowler silhouette, um, but we offer many others. which is typically in a rich velvet. The tam o' shanter, we do that in wool or felt, just because uh, it's a style that requires some more structure, so it's difficult to do with uh, velvet or other fabric. The beret, which can be done in fabric, of course. The cloche in straw. I have not made a pair of silhouette in quite a while, so if you don't mind, I'd just like to double check my patterns to be sure that I still have that. I don't want to make any promises I can't keep. <laughs> the bowler and the garden silhouettes have been so popular lately, I haven't been making much of anything else. So I'll have to thank you for switching things up for me. This will be a lot of fun to make.
hair is so wet. Perfect. So, yes, I will be able to make that one for you. I think that's an excellent choice. It'll look gorgeous on you. the angle. Yes, we can do a brim that is curved up, slanting downwards, straight out, or any angle in between. The uh, angled down style has been quite popular lately. Uh, the ladies say it gives better posture since you can't see over your hat without lifting up your chin, which tends to kind of force yourself into a better posture and a more confident stride. <laughs> but the downside is uh, it's hard to see. <laughs> um, sure. We can do pleats, braids. Yes, we can do pleats uh, just at the back and then smooth the rest, the rest of the way around. Or smooth with simply braided just around the edge. Any combination. watches that we have and you can select the type of fabric you like best and also the color. Oh, here we are. Here is the box for all of our swatches. So you can have a look about so you can have a look at what the fabrics we offer and choose your favorites. First I will show you the options that we have for wool. first color is this gorgeous, rich forest green. And if you would like something a bit brighter, more summery or springtime, we have this uh, brighter, more vibrant simple, smooth, cream shade. A bright buttercup 
yellow It's vibrant summery teal Gorgeous deep royal purple black scarlet red and a clean any of those catch your eye. Alright. Uh, I'll make a note of that. Uh, our next step will be to select the trim. We keep all of the trims in this basket. First option will be this sheer red. It's obviously nice if you would like the color of the hat itself to show through. But we also offer an opaque red. look very elegant If you would like to go for a wider trim, we have a sheer pale pink. This makes for a beautiful sash around the base of the band. This trim is actually lined with wire on both sides, so this can also be easily fashioned into a rosette. We have a baby 
navy blue tassel that can be wrapped around the base of the hat or sewed into the very edge of the brim to flounce about as you walk or when it's caught in the wind a bit. It's quite flapper-esque. something a bit more simplistic and elegant. More tassels and a two-toned rope. And last, the simplest of all. lovely with essentially any style of hat. So, did you like any of those trims? Alright, I'll just have to make a note of that. first one I will show you is this small green plume. As you can see at the base, it has these extremely vibrant green fluffs. Then, as you come towards the center, those gorgeous deeper green iridescent feathers. And at the very center, these thin iridescent strands. Again, when they catch the light, reflect green and almost a touch of gold. This would contrast quite nicely with the color palette you've chosen so far. Next, we have the same. And we have a gorgeous peacock blue. So we have a vibrant purple, which ties in beautifully with the purple shade at the center of the feathers, as well as those gorgeous green reflective feathers. And 
if you would like to add a more extravagant flair to your hat. And these can actually be attached to a pin so they can be removable from your hat when you would like to spice it up for a formal event or take it down when you would like to be a bit more casual. I quite enjoy how this particular feather seems to have a bit of a curl at the end. <laughs> it's even more dramatic than usual. also offer these slightly more realistic looking feathers. Flowers. <laughs> so, uh, which style do you prefer? Okay. In that case, I can show you our assortment of those more realistic flowers and you can choose your favorites. Here you can have a look at the flowers that we offer. The first one being this very dramatic deep blue blossom. We also offer these uh, white daisies, the yellow and green center. these pink blossoms that you saw featured on that royal blue hat. White poppies. Three different types of leaves. Smaller white flowers. So vibrant yellow the classic large red rose You said you liked the pink blossom and the rose, and maybe some of the small white. Sure. And as for the leaves, you can choose from any of the leaves from the board that you just saw, or we also offer. green, a 
as well as a pale shimmery gold. We can also sew more simplistic leaves from fabric in a ruched style. So, a few color options would be Would you be interested in any gems, crystals, or pearls, hatpins? Okay, we have an elegant gold hatpin. Beautiful silver, diamond, and pearl in this little flower shape. Next will be the veil or netting. So we have a few different colors and varieties. The first one being a very fine, simple white netting. Works wonderfully as a veil, often used for our wedding party hats. We also have a few wider set nettings, but these are difficult to tell the color until you layer them. This one is a nice coral shade. The same style. We can also do veils in lace, such as this.
In the summertime, cotton tends to be the most popular. We offer a black cotton. Scarlet red. Or a simple beige. Next few options are leather, which is popular in autumn or winter. This is a beautiful milk chocolate shade. I love it. And finally, we have a few satin options, which is most popular in the springtime. First is that iridescent purple that reflects a bit of blue. Then, a nice bright orange. I think that will go beautifully. And then an optional finishing touch would be to have your name hand embroidered in the inner lining of your hat. We offer three color options. The first being, of course, red. Or a nice dark chocolate brown. And finally, a bright daffodil yellow. everything. If you'll just give me a moment to finish up these illustrations I've been working on of a couple of ideas for finished hats based off of the fabric selections you've made. I'll be done in just a moment.
I can show you um, two illustrations that you can choose from. Like I said, these are both based off of all of the selections that you've made. First one is in the pale pink satin fabric he said you liked has that floral lace trim that we could dye baby pink for you a cluster of lots of small floral pieces a combination of the more realistic style make any adjustments to this that you would like, of course. The first illustration. The second is here. And these are both the Paris silhouette that you requested, of course. And this one is in red and pink, featuring that large red rose that will be. Surrounded by the deep forest green fabric leaves. A ruched pink sash. As well as the floral lace around the hem of the hand. But dyed a beautiful rose red. The brim is smooth, except for the pleats at the back. So, would you be interested? either of these options, and are there any adjustments you would like made? Alright, in that case, I can finalize your order, and I can work out
can have it completed by Wednesday. Uh, would you like to come pick it up or have it delivered? Sure thing. Uh, what's the address? Okay. That's Avenue, you said. Okay. Perfect. You are all said. Thank you so much for visiting Hatters. It was wonderful to meet you. I hope you'll have a great